Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. You might be asked to set up a definite integral that gives the area of the region. And you'll be shown a graph. But you have to find out where the intersection is. Exactly. Okay? So how would we find out where what A and B are in this case? Set the two functions equal to each other, in other words, use substitution. So we know that the y values and x values are both equal <coughs> at whatever point, so we have a system of equations. So 2x plus 5 must be equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we're going to solve this. What kind of an equation is it? Quadratic equation. How do we solve quadratic equations? Get 0 on one side, standard form. Good. So we have x squared. I'm going to subtract 2x. It cancels out. Subtracting 5, we get minus 4. So this is an easy quadratic equation. Yeah. Whatever this point is here, it's going to have the coordinates x, 2x plus 5. But it also has the coordinates x, x squared plus 2x plus 1, because it's also on that graph, right? So in other words, the y values here have to be the same, correct? So set them equal to each other. So this is going to be x equals plus or minus 2, right? So we found actually both our a and our b. We found at negative 2, we have, we have one intersection point. And then over here, we have the point 2 comma something. And you can plug in and figure out what the y coordinate is, but it doesn't really matter. What we really need is just the x coordinate here, negative 2. To two. Okay, so then what would the definite integral be? They just want us, notice it just says set up. It's not asking us to integrate it in this particular problem. Okay, just set up the definite integral. What will it be? Integral from negative 2 to 2. What comes first? Y1. Is Y1 on top? Y2 is on top, right? The blue is on top of the black in this case. So it's going to be 2x plus 5 minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. What will happen if you get it backwards is you'll get the, the, ne the opposite of the area. You'll get a negative. That's all that's going to happen. Yeah, let's go back to that one slide there. Why did the g come first? Because you had to subtract the whole area under g minus the green part. So the integral of g minus the integral of f. Whatever's on the bottom has to be subtracted out to get rid of that extra area. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.